Hello and welcome to Let's Play Deus Ex Human Revolution. My name is Jemalf and I'll be your host and gameplay commentator through this playlist. And I hope you enjoy the journey with me. I played the game a bit, but uh, don't expect me to be any good at the game. And uh, don't take this for uh, for a quick walk through of the game. Uh, this will be uh, simply me playing the game and uh, playing the game the way I want it. And uh, I hope that's what you came to look here. And uh, without further ado, let's get the game started. I'll be playing with the default difficulty, give me a challenge. As I said, I'm not gonna pretend I'm any good at the game, so uh, I'm not gonna not gonna get the Deus Ex hard difficulty. I'm not gonna talk during the cutscenes, so don't be surprised if I stay quiet during those. Now uh, let's let's watch the intro movie here. satellites are ours when we need them. A few weeks of discomfort and the public will be primed for our recall. And the clinics? We can talk at both times. They will do as we say. I still think we should wait for the referendum. We can't afford to wait. America's science board contains next month. But the mood among the delegates is shifting. I'm positive that given more time... Now, by going public with this discovery, Syrup is forcing our hand. The world will not change overnight just because David Syrup wills it. Besides, we can do nothing until our biochip is ready. I thought you said you were close. Finding the correct nerve interface has proven more challenging than anticipated. Fortunately, thanks to David, I now know where to look. Washington tonight, crowds continue to gather in front of the Capitol. Most are demanding that Congress severely restrict efforts to alter the human body's abilities. This in response to claims made by biotechnology expert David Seraph that his firm may have discovered a way to make human-controlled evolution available to all. Seraph Industries researchers are set to arrive in Washington tomorrow. With all due respect, Major, I'll expect two security details waiting for us, on the tarmac. No, we won't be going through the terminal, it's too exposed. Yes. I'm glad you understand. Good night, idiot. Something wrong? No, not for me it isn't. But you keep pulling on that necklace, Dr. Reed, and you're gonna break it. Come on, Meg. You've defended your research before. That was different. Then it was all just theories. But this discovery, Adam? It's big. Kepler big. Rosetta Stone big. So, what's the problem? They'll want to know how I found it. Megan, we're leaving for DC and... Adam, you're there. Good, good. You need something, boss? Yeah. I want to go over your security plans for Washington before we leave. You and your team ready to go, Megan? Almost, David. We're just rechecking data. Well, make it snappy. We have to actually be in Washington before you can dazzle all those federally appointed know-it-alls. I hate it when he does that. Come on, I'll walk you part way. And 
here we are inside the head of Adam Jensen, our main character who I'll be playing. David's waiting at him. We shouldn't keep him. And that is Megan Reed, who is uh, anxious to go go to talk to David Sarif of Sarif Industries. Um, who are making these uh, biomechanical enhancements of human body called augmentations and, uh, they've made a new discovery that uh, will help the body not to reject these augmentations and they are going public with that Sorry, Megan. Patient X. That's nothing, Adam. Just some of the research. Look, we really have to go. Patient X is how how they discover this. Uh... And I thought women were the ones who kept men waiting. Discovered this uh, possibility for human body not to. Not to reject the augmentations, but it is unknown where where this patient X came from. Be careful with that. It's a first edition. David bought it for me. Interesting. Are you coming? In a second. bond between human David tissue and Adam. mechanical electrodes can be strengthened through adaptive DNA fusion. This development could eliminate the need for neurobozine, which I believe is the medicine that augmented people are forced to use to uh, be able to use the augmentations and deal with the deal with the. Come on, slowpoke. Deal with pain. Wow, how long ago was this taken? In grad school, before I met you. Back when you were hobnobbing with the rich and famous, I see. I wonder if Mr. Darrow remembers you. God, I hope not. You know, you really should get in the habit of locking your computer, man. I know, I know. Frank gets on me about it, too. Email from Megan's mother, giving us a little Please, background. I'm nervous enough. Background on Adam and Megan. So Adam has been together with Megan, but they are no longer a couple, which uh, explains these uh, emotions here between them. And I thought women were the ones who kept men waiting. Apparently Megan doesn't know where the first sample came from. I believe David does. Diane Gonzalez taking care of Meg's dog. Kubrick. Interesting. Hey! Stop David's waiting at him. DNA samples. Talking about the patient X, someone who is ahead of the genetic curve by one step maybe two. Come on, slowpoke. Interesting. Very interesting. Joke. Well, it worked because I forgave you for picking me up in one of those. Hmm. I'm 
Alright, you're looking sweet. Warning. This lab is for authorized personnel only. What did you mean back then, Meg? About how you found it? Nothing. It's just my nerves talking. There's something I should know about this place, about Seraph. Megan! Hold on. We're still getting biochemical fluctuations across the artificial flow cells. Okay. But the increased neuropeptides coming from the PDOT cluster could be throwing off your calibrations. Right. I'll double check that. I can't believe you were asking about David. You've been here long enough to know of. Eric! You wouldn't be avoiding me, would you? I wouldn't dream of it, Dr. Reed. I think I know why Declan's readings are off. Too many peptides? I'm thinking the glial tissue breakdown you noticed after splicing in the repressive protein might be the cause. If we had a better cytometer... We might get a more accurate reading of the must must get a I'll ask David to consider it. Well, if he orders one from Page Industries, maybe they'll throw in another cappuccino maker. You overthink everything, Adam. The work we're doing is good. We're helping people overcome their physical limitations. Yeah, except most of our clients seem to be DOD. You're doing it's good. Not There's another hour to go. We work with teachers, doctors, construction workers. <gasps> Damn it! Watch it, Eddie! Those boxes are worth more than your salary. Sorry, sorry. Nia, you almost ready? For Washington? Huh. Ah, Dr. Reed. This is General O'Neill. Dr. Sevchenko was telling me you've made progress on the typhoon. Yes. Thanks to Vasily, actually. As I was saying, sir, the Typhoon uses a modified combat chassis like the one I'm wearing. But I've improved its design using shaped microchargers to propel the steel balls. And the backblast problem? Solved through kinetic bleeders in the augment. Here, watch. Go ahead. Soon till it's ready. I'm afraid I have to run, but Vasily has all the details, General. Of course. We still have some work to do to improve the time. You're right. The teacher would just love having one of those things. You're missing the point. Defense contracts keep us afloat, but neural augmentations that make you think faster react quicker. They can really improve a life, everybody's lives. David's talked about it for years. Yeah, he is a talker. He's a good man. Admitted, Adam. A part of you likes him. No, I like everyone, Dr. Reed. Yeah, right. How far are you going? Diane's office. I forgot to leave her a key so she can walk Kubrick. He's gotten big, you know. Keeps knocking over all my plans. Did you destroy that vase yet? I moved it. And I fenced in the yard. Like you always said you were going to. Yeah. Never got around to that. <laughs> Sorry. Me too. About a lot of things. Adam, I... There's something I... Good evening. Pritchard. So, are we all ready for the trip? There's Farida. I'd better hurry. See you at the helipad, Adam. Sure. Did I uh, interrupt something, Jensen? You fixed that firewall yet? You don't fix an entire firewall. You find the loophole and plug it. Then did you plug it? Yes, I did. You want to know how? Oh, wait, I forgot. Ex-cop. I doubt you'd understand. Ex-SWAT, and you'd be surprised. Seraph has to see you too. Athena. She wants me to show her how to track our scientist implanted locator devices. In case your security plans in Washington don't measure up. They will. Gentlemen, how wonderful to see you here. Go right in, Adam. He's waiting. This is the newest in encrypted GPL trackers. It transmits data to our dedicated satellites. I don't care what it says. I want you, Darrow, in Washington, by my side. That doesn't jump for anyone. He's a Nobel Prize winner. Senators love this guy, Lyle. The hearings will go much smoother with him there. Big day for us tomorrow. Everything in place? Yes, sir. Capitol Police will escort us to the Hill, and then Federal Protection Services takes over. Good, good. How's our girl holding up? She's nervous. 
All she has to do is show him her research. She explain it to you. Not really into the whole science thing, boss. It's incredible. All those purists out there accusing us of tampering with the natural order. When all Megan's done is figure out how to unlock the potential that exists within our own DNA. It's safer and easier than anything you Darrow ever did. Environmental malfunction. Laboratory subsection 6. All lab chiefs, please report in. We'd better not take any chances. Not tonight. Use my elevator to get down there. You know the code? Yeah, 0451. Let me know what you find. Athena, get someone to shut off that damn racket. Yes, sir. Environmental malfunction. I. I guess I better head in to check things out. Richard, where's Megan? She reporting yet? Her GPL implant shows her moving through the microcam labs. I think she's running. Damn. Must have been a serious equipment failure. Can you get eyes on her? I'm trying, but the IntelliCams aren't responding. There's interference coming from somewhere. Find out what's happening, Jensen. Hurry! Richard? Richard! Adam is an ex-SWAT, so he knows his ways around combat and weapons. Later in the game he pays off to uh, be stealthy and uh, not kill the enemies. But right here in the first mission we'll be using using weapons, weapons freely. Adam is able to crouch what I'm doing now. Hide behind covers, sprint for a short time. And he aim his weapon more carefully. As said later in the game, face off to move quietly, stay undetected. It's often beneficial to even Glass. Kill those scientists in cold blood. Look like that guy was uh, augmented. Yeah, I said uh, later in the game it's based off to move, move undetected or uh, through places. We all get uh, experience point bonuses for that. Here on the first mission, it's completely okay to just kill everyone with a gun, and you don't have to worry about staying out of sight for the guards. These guys are dead. Again, later in the game, we'll be collecting everything we found, just doing it here out of habit. This guy's dead as well, They're killing everyone, every scientist in the place.
three targets in the room. Again, later in the game, we'd be we'd be moving to bodies and hiding them from other guards when needed. But here on the first mission, not necessary. Careful. Yeah, that guy threw a grenade, I think, on my face. Should have probably stayed behind cover instead of trying to run. It just goes to show that it's
search the ERCC1 graph. Steady, steady. He doesn't need that. Where's that cyber arm prosthesis? I love you. Haven't you lost enough people today? Sorry. We're seconds away. His body can take it. I think we got him, Doc.